It is my first time in Ottawa and we are live this morning for Winterlude. Of course, I did a little bit of sightseeing. I checked out, of course, Beaver Tails yesterday. I had to go and check out some of those stands. And then I went to the Parliament Hill as well and took a selfie, of course, right in front of the Parliament buildings. There you can see my selfie there. I look pretty good if Fantastic. I do say so myself. <laughs> so you know what? I needed some expert advice. And so I brought in two very seasoned veterans to share their stories, uh, anchors of CTV Ottawa's 6 o'clock news newscast cast, pardon me. We have Graham Richardson and Patricia Bull. You guys, thank you so much Great to be for here. being thank here. Thank you for having us. It's good to be outside on a yes. February morning like Yes, this. and you're very optimistic, Patricia. I just have to share with our viewers, she went to bed when I woke up this morning yes. for the show. So uh, we are very thankful that you yeah. guys are here this morning. Happy to be here. Yeah. Graham, let's start off with you. Your very favorite spot, your very first one, yes. is the Great Outdoors okay. in Gatineau Park. Yeah, so uh, the thing about uh, Ottawa and the capital, you got to embrace winter. Uh, and because, like, look at this. I mean, we're, we've got a massive amount of snow. People who don't know in the rest of the country, uh, Gatineau Park is about 15 minute drive from right here. I'm kind of dressed in my, I'm going skiing. Casual. Yeah. Yes, I'm <laughs> casual. I'm going skiing right <laughs> after this. It's 20 minutes from, uh, from where I work, and I often ski before work. There's 200 kilometers of groomed trails. It is a fantastic gem. Wow. And, uh, Hundreds of people do what I do. Sometimes if you work early, they ski late. If you work late, they ski early. Uh, and so it's a wonderful way to experience uh, this region. And it's, uh, it's I, I like to call it an urban national park. Nice. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. He's in a really good mood at work yes. when he skis in the morning. Yeah. Well, and you, you Instagram a lot, Graham. So yes. we, we get to kind of live vicariously through you. Oh, that's great. Next on your list is the village of Wakefield, Quebec. Yes. So that is uh, further on, and again on the Quebec side, a beautiful little town. Uh, a real secret hideaway if you're not from here. Uh, cafes, uh, there's a beautiful covered bridge, a wonderful art scene. And again, if you're not from the area, you may not know about it, it's kind of hidden. Um, and so if you come here, uh, that's another really wonderful part of the National Capital Region, again on the Quebec side, that maybe uh, English Canadians might not know about or might be uh, less likely to go to, uh, but really worth the trip. Well, now we know. Yeah, there you go. Now we know. I love this next one because there's nothing I love more than a good book. And you've yes. got the perfect place for me. Yes. And this is my last secret hideaway because Patricia has a few more. Uh, <laughs> but um, the parliamentary reading room, uh, the parliamentary library, the back of Parliament Hill is the most beautiful room in the country. I used to work on Parliament Hill as a reporter and I would sneak away and sit in this gorgeous room uh, it was the only one saved from the fire. So if you're on the tour, you come to Parliament Hill, make sure they take you to the to the library, which they will. Uh, in the news recently, because of the tragedy with, with the, the shooter on Parliament Hill, the, it, it is right there, um, and it's a beautiful part of our history. The steel doors were closed at the fire. That's the only reason it was saved. Wow. And if you're inside there, it is breathtaking, as you can see. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful place. It's the best okay. part of any tour of the Parliament buildings, although not, not that many of us have just hung out there reading. Like, <laughs> yeah, I tend to get, you think you're going to get busted. Yeah, I don't yeah. have anything that cerebral <laughs> on oh, my list. Right. No, but Patricia, you're going to take us to the home of the Grey Cup champs first. Yes. So lands down here in Ottawa, completely revitalized. It's where TD Place is and where the Red Blacks won the Grey Cup, of course, in November. Lifelong football fan, used to go to uh, Rough Rider games as a kid, and then we went through kind of the joke years in the CFL when the Renegades came in. So to have what happened in November happen this year with the Red Blacks winning the Grey Cup, and then we had a chance to broadcast uh, from, uh, yeah. from TD Place after the win during the parade, so that was just incredible. And now I get to take my kids to games there, and it's just lovely to see that as a really, again, a jewel. You have a beautiful yeah. view of the, the Rideau Canal when you're in the north stands in that uh, stadium. So wonderful to see football thriving here in Ottawa again. Next one, I bet you do with your kids as well. Scoops, yeah. ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, parliamentary library, ice cream place, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a, the best ice cream place in the area. It's about a half hour outside Ottawa in a place called Pakenham, which happens to be half hour, halfway to our cottage. And uh, when my kids were little, my daughter used to, to pinch her baby brother on the way home from the cottage because we said, if he's sleeping, we're not stopping for ice cream. Oh so my, she'd be uh, she did not. keeping him awake to make sure that we made the stop best peanut butter chocolate ice cream you'll ever have in your oh, life. Oh, I love that. I love that. Our last one, Upper Canada Village in Morrisburg. And both your daughters have done camps here. Yeah, so this is an 1867 village just lifted out of the past and when you go to camp there no electronics you're in period costume you're learning how to make brooms and that kind of thing they both love their experience but it's a great place to visit at uh, Christmas 
They have that in a light at night tour. You do sleigh rides through this little village and definitely worth a trek through in the summer if you're in the Ottawa area. It's just a beautiful little town. The water right there and uh, yeah, Morrisburg, about an hour outside of Ottawa. But when I asked my kids, where would you take people if they were coming to visit Ottawa, they said right away, Upper Canada Village. We oh, love it. Amazing. Nice. Yeah. You guys, I'm never going to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here. Yeah, come well, back it's anytime. Great you're here. And, uh, and the other thing, with Trish mentioning cottage, the other thing in summer and in winter, there's thousands of lakes within a two hour drive if you're wow. both Quebec side and Ontario side. I know you're in Alberta. Yeah. I love Alberta. I lived there for eight years, but I miss the water. Yeah, there's no water. There's no water. Sylvan uh, Lake. That's Sylvan it, that's Lake. It, that's yeah. right. That's right. And that uh, cold mountain lakes. Yeah. yeah. I, I was going to say the ski hills are close too, but if you're from Alberta, yeah. well, not you don't ski care hills. about our, our little <laughs> ski bumps. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Such a pleasure to have you both and to see you guys again. So thank you. Great thank to see you guys.